Hi, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your October 2023 love reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out more than you guys will ever know, so thank you so very much for doing so. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. And if you're interested in a private reading, a private personalized meditation, or a healing, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. That is also linked in the description box below. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the, from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. <sighs> Cancer, I felt such a release while the singing wall was singing, so there is something that you are, are being freed from during this time, which is absolutely beautiful. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, angels. Oh, very interesting. Let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, angels. Oh, goodness. Here we have, okay, the one that comes forward is confidence. It's like, hey, listen, you have to see me, right? Fell right out, turned right, right side up. So it's moving forward in confidence during this time, being confident within ourselves, you know, embracing what we love, who we are, standing in confidence, but also in love, because there's something here where we don't feel like we're victorious. Now, I don't know if we don't feel like we're victorious in love. Well, we're talking about love, so that can very well be the case. But there's also a sense that there's an energy that's coming forward, right? And we have the, the page of cups right here. The, the page of cups is reversed, and we are represented by the cups in the minor arcana. So here, we do not want to be a student of something. But something is moving very quickly, which is going to make us become a student of our hearts more than we want to be. So it's kind of like, I have to be in alignment with my heart, or I have to see my heart, or trust my heart, or follow my heart in one way or another. And it's going back to childhood. There's almost a fear of like, I'm, I don't want to be like them, right? So it can be that your parents didn't have the best relationship, or that we had these goals when we were little, and somebody shattered them. And so there's almost a sense of like, I don't want to be a student of my heart. Thank you very much. I'm going to be as, as, you know, I don't want to say practical as possible, but I do see it as like, it's out of alignment with a, a cancer energy and cancer energy follows their heart. And so here that would be following your brain and, but you're coming back to have like a childlike wonder around things. And that's going to happen very quickly. It's like all of a sudden this door opens and it's like, oh, okay. And you're moving back towards what you deeply wish for. So let's see what spirit wants us to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Yeah. Okay. The king of wands. The king of wands is a very overpowering energy. It's like be, be mindful of passion and determination and focus and fire just, just coming forward. And we've been We've had this energy of, I'm seeing it as an energy of success. So I see it as success here on this earthly plane. B 
be a predominant fire in our lives and be a predominant fire in a person that we were really attracted to or that we connected with. And now we're going to start to see that other people's fires, other people's passions do not get to usurp, usurp our own. It was almost like we were told that we were here to help fan their their fire, their spark, their their talents, but to forget your own talents. And Spirit's like, absolutely no, absolutely no. So we can be looking at this time and at ourselves and be thinking, well, I'm not really victorious in love. I'm like, I'm not really moving forward in the power and in the connection and in the beauty of love the way that I want to. And Spirit is like, okay, you know, that's one way of seeing it. It's a little bit harsh, but it's learning now how to celebrate yourself in love, how to celebrate love in your life, creation, creativity, connection. And it moves us to the page of cups. We are a student during this time of love, even though we really don't want to be. It's like, I don't need to be a student of this. Just like we're thinking, I don't need to learn how to celebrate myself. I know I know kind of where I stand or I know my place. <laughs> There's something about here about know your place. I don't know if this was said to you over and over again as a child or just even a few times that you just internalized it or in a relationship. It's like, know your place. And spirit is saying here, no, you don't need to know your place. Your place is wherever the heck you decide to stand. And it brings us you know, to being a student of our heart and what we desire and what we love and where we want to be and embracing our passion and asking questions and diving deeper. And this is going to be a time where we can find it to be very uncomfortable to be a student of what we love, but we're going to be finding it to be very necessary to, to be that student of our hearts because things are going to be moving very, very quickly during this time. We're going to see that October goes just super fast, you know, I love October season. So, you know, that could be a very good thing for us, but that could also be something where we're like, no, slow it down type of deal. So with the eight of wands, there is an energy here with love that moves us very quickly. But if we're not open with ourselves and we're not a student of our hearts, we're going to find that we move in our heads and our heads, when we step back, is not where our soul aligns. So just be very mindful about this. With the six of cups, there is connection with something that you wanted as a child, something that you dreamed of, a way that you wanted to move forward in love, but in life. You can also want to recreate something, okay? I'm just seeing, okay, what I'm seeing is an old-fashioned kind of like Victorian dollhouse type of thing and setting everything up. And what Spirit is showing here is like the dolls grow and maybe things weren't quite as expected. But it's almost embracing that that beauty of play and that beauty of connection. And that's going to be where we're moving to here. And I know that's very odd. So I, don't, I, I know that resonates with one person, at, at least one person who is watching, because I just think it's, it's kind of an odd imagery to come forward. But there, there is a sense of I'm, I'm moving forward in what I love and what I want and where I need to stand. So just know that here. But also know that there's, there's a wound from the past that has come forward in love and really affected the way that you go after love, the partners that you choose, the the way that you define yourself in love that you're looking at. And it's like, well, it doesn't need to be like that. And that's why it's like that freeform play, right? Of that dollhouse. It's, it's just bringing back the whimsy into things and bringing out back the connection and bringing back the passion and bringing back what we love. But it's not replicating what we once had because I'm not seeing us as really wanting to replicate what we once had as children. But it's like, I'm embracing love and connection and beauty again. And that's going to be my guiding force. And then we have the star, which is Aquarius energy, time frame, January 20th to February 18th. That can be a very special time for us, you know, as we move forward and as we're embracing love and, and, and love in our lives. But it's also connecting with what our soul really wants. This is my soul's wish. This is my soul. This is why I'm here. And it doesn't matter our age. You know, we tend to think, well, if I don't have this figured out by 25, I've absolutely failed. And it's like, no, come on come on, stop. Nobody has anything figured out by 25. I mean, sometimes we think we do, but <laughs> we can go at 35 and be like, oh, well, that was quite different. So just be aware of this during this time that we're connecting with our soul's wish. And our soul is like, I just want you to see me. I just want you to see what it is that you love and what it is that you want and where it is that you need to be. Because that soul's wish is leading us forward. And it's becoming a bigger and bigger part of us. You know, yeah, like, in this month, but as as time goes on, it's becoming a bigger and bigger part of us. Our soul's desire, our soul's wish, our beauty, our connection, our love, our our 
Yeah, our desire of self. And that's going to be a very big deal. Also, during this time, as, as we fight through and become a student of love, right? We can be falling in love with somebody who has a link with something from our past. I'm not saying that we're going to fall in love with somebody from our past. That's not it. Okay. It, it, it can be for certain people, but you know, that going in and reconnecting, you know, can be beautiful, but it also can be like, you know, just, yeah, it's, it's not what's, what's here necessarily, but it's connecting with somebody who gets your past. Okay. Who, who sees you, who understands you, who, who connects with you on a much deeper level. And it like that door opens, like you open. Okay, so that's going to be a very big thing. But your wishes, it's like connect with what you w wish for again. And you're going to think, oh, this is so stupid. You know, this is so nonsensical. And spirit's like, no, it's not. No, it's not to put your wishes forward. And it's not to make you sad and think, oh my gosh, look at all these years I've wasted or look at all this time that I, I didn't have. You know, it is to say, but this is my soul. And it's to let yourself start to shine. Because if you're in a relationship and you start to shine, either that person will shine with you or that person will step back. And if you're looking for somebody and you start to shine, well, you, then you're just a beacon. Then you're just a beacon and it's like, okay, I'm coming. And, and, and they'll be coming. I mean, seriously. Your subconscious energy to be mindful of is the two of pentacles reversed. This is like, I can't balance anymore. Being overwhelmed. So first we have to deal with this being overwhelmed. For whatever reason, we are overwhelmed and release that energy. It brings us to our subconscious spirit message. And this is rejoice reversed. Again, we're not letting ourselves rejoice. We're not. It's like we have to release everything that we're trying to balance, every way that we're trying to be perfect, take perfect off the table, and then rejoice reversed. It's like, okay, we're not letting ourselves rejoice in our energy. So here, it's time to rejoice. It's time to rejoice in you. And it brings us to our subconscious spirit message. And that is the King of Pentacles walking forward in prosperity and success and shining with wealth. Now, this is also earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You can be very attracted to an earth sign energy, also Aquarius energy. Okay, it's just somebody who has a way of weaving dreams in reality. I just, it's, I don't know why, but rubble still skin is coming into mind. It's like turning thread into gold. And it's like weaving that that thread into something priceless. And that's what this person does. They, they, they weave dreams. And I don't know exactly how they do it because I think that's rather a very whimsical and beautiful way of describing things. But this is a person who weaves dreams. But this can also be, as you move forward, you're, you're learning how to weave dreams into, into something priceless and into priceless connections. All right. All right, Cancer. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Cancer, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.